Tia Carrera, and you're watching Cabo Bay in L.A. More on Tia Carrera this afternoon on Cabo Bay in L.A., but before that, I know it's only a Monday, but we're all uh, planning for the weekend already. There's a big party in Carson, and you are all invited. We talked about that last week. Josie Castro yes. of uh, GKUSA is back on the show. Rick Munda is also from GKUSA, along with Tony Olaez. We're going to be meeting them later as well and talking to them. But Josie, yes. party on Saturday. Party, yes. What's going to happen? big party, yes. I would like to invite all the viewers of Kababai in LA uh, to please join us in the festivities in Carson. It's going to be a full day of food galore and wonderful uh, performances. And this is brought to you by the I Care, I Share Consortium. And we call it the Food Trucks and Music Festival. And we're not only going to be there to eat and to partake in entertainment, that's also uh, for us to help the rebuilding efforts in Mindanao. Gawad Kalinga is very busy over there, mm -hmm. but uh, they can't do it by themselves. And that's why, Rick, what else is needed? What's going on right now? Right now, they've started already the uh, rehabilitation in Iligan and in uh, Cagayan de Oro. They've constructed the first uh, 100 homes, and they will have the turnover uh, sometime in April. Mm -hmm. And the, in Cagayan de Oro, we're building 500 homes. And in, in Iligan, it is the, the goal to build 5,500 homes. The current site is able to, to house uh, 1,700 homes, and there are another... There are two more sites that will have the capacity to hold or to have uh, 2,000 homes. So that's the goal right there. And this is very important, Josie. We talked about this uh, last week, but let's remind them. Some people might say, oh, I already donated. I already participated. Last year, Payan Sendong happened in December. It's already March 2012. Mm -hmm. Why are we still asking for help? We're still asking for help because it takes a while before you could really rebuild communities. The first wave was all for relief effort, but now we're talking about rebuilding lives and rebuilding communities. And, we're, and when you talk about rebuilding, we're not only talking about rebuilding of shelters, right? Uh, we're talking about uh, bringing in other, um, other um, components that makes a really holistic kind of community. And we're talking about education, health, and values formation, livelihood, livelihood and okay. all that. And Tony, we're talking about bringing in, we're bringing in the second, third, fourth generation Filipino Americans, and you are the perfect example of that. <laughs> Tony is a very accomplished entrepreneur here in the U.S., born here, raised here, never knew anything about the Philippines until he actually went there. Tony, tell us about your experience. Well, it was about six years ago, and uh, the, the Philippines was in a desirable place. You know, my parents would always say, come back home, and I said, no, 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 the United States is home. Mm -hmm. But um, six years ago, I walked into a, a slum village, and I was just surprised at the people inside, because the people inside were so hospitable. They had nothing. They lived in shacks, and, and yet they... They were so hospitable. They were, they were offering me water. I was like, wait a minute, what, what makes them different from my aunts and uncles in the States? And uh, I realized that they aren't any different. We, we just have opportunity here in the U.S., and they don't have it over in the Philippines. And, and that, that, for me, meant that I needed to do something about it because I was blessed. You know, I think Phil Amps here need to realize, especially the second, third, fourth generations, that they really need to understand that the people in the Philippines that are poor wasn't their choice to be poor, you see. And there's a whole story behind this that we all need to look at and understand. And I think it'll bring the whole global Filipino back together again. And you know what's sad about this is you mentioned you know, they are already poor and we're talking about those affected by Sendong in the Philippines, Cagayan de Oro and Iligan. Sila na nga yung kulang, sila pa yung mas naapektuhan. Um, Tito Rick, what else needs to be done there? It is a holistic approach in helping them. It is not only the homes but really a community. As you give hope to the families, you have to bring back the families and only the homes are just a start. Holistic approach. We, we provide for the, the health component, the education of the children, the community as a whole, really bringing them from where they came back from. Okay. And, uh, Tony, what can the second, third, fourth generation uh, Filipinos do about this? If they don't have the means nor the time right now to go back to the Philippines, what, what can they do right now? 
I'm, I'm going to say three things. Okay. Uh, the first thing is thank your mom and dad or whoever got you here in the United States. Say thank you because it is a, a privilege to be in this country just based on what I've seen in the Philippines. I, I think number two, really look online and research what happened before the colonizers came to the Philippines, the so Spaniards. Understand your culture. Absolutely, yeah. understand that history Heritage, yes. because it, it tells how we got so poor and why everybody had to leave. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, uh, go online to, to gk, GK usaorg and if you have something, anything, donate something because that's, that's really your connection back. Mm -hmm. Because we're all one family the way I look at it. We're just scattered all over the globe, and we have, to, we have to come together. Wonderful. Very well said. And finally, Josie, again, invite them, aside from the yes. three things that Tony said, come and party with us on Saturday. Yes. The best thing about this is this is free at no cost to you. Free entertainment, but not free food, right? Because that's where uh, <laughs> we're going to get donations for yes. uh, Gawad Kalinga. Yes. And um, other than the... Uh, food trucks and the great performances that will be presented in that event. Here is an opportunity for us, Phil Ams, and also the other communities in the Carson area to participate and show that you do care for the uh, typhoon-stricken communities in Mindanao. Right. Come together, I care, I share with GKUSA.org plus the LaSalle organization. That's the website on the screen for more information. And this isn't the last time you're going to hear from us about GKUSA in the coming days. Watch out for that. For now, yes. thank you thank and you. more thank power you. to you. you. We'll be back with entertainment news, Kababayans in New York and in Hollywood when we return. Don't go away.